have enough in common. My kids are 40. I'm recording again, Joe, just to let you know, because this is good game. And like you said, this is for the Crips and the Blood. You cannot make money in one spot. Yes, man. I don't care if they put a crown in that spot. Now, see, this is what's going on today. And like I was telling you, this is the proof that Donald Trump, I'm going to be the first to say it since nobody else on YouTube has said it, Donald Trump helped Snoop Dogg Retain ownership of Death Row Records. Now you need proof in it. Like I say, what you want to do first and foremost for those that ain't from the streets and don't know what the hell I'm talking about and think I'm crazy. Look at who Donald Trump pardoned before he left the presidency. Harry O. Those that aren't familiar with Harry O, he's a brother out of Watts. He was uh, uh, the manager to Denzel Washington. And he was sentenced to prison like Sade and other people for the sales of drugs. And after 30 years, right? Now, about one, two, three, four, right after Tupac got killed. After Tupac got killed, Harry O came, he spoke out for the first time. Which a lot of us assume that, I can't even talk about that, that's against politics snitching. I ain't gonna go there, even though lots of people said it. But I ain't gonna be those lots of people, but you don't know you don't know but Harry O spoke out through Vibe Source and his complaint was which I can't talk about public knowledge is he funded Suge Knight Death Row Records so y'all get that now follow me now YouTube so get this big hump if this dude Harry O funded Suge Knight's Death Row from prison because he was in prison at the time he funded and the deal was, he was supposed to make Harry O's wife, Lydia, who was at the time CEO of a small record label called Godfather Entertainment. He was supposed to make her, who Dr. Dre became in death row. Hear that? Dr. Dre. Who, I'm going to get there. Let's stay in order and chronologically so y'all can follow me and don't think I'm all over the place. Because I ain't been sleeping a few days. But, shook didn't do what he was supposed to do and Harry O became upset. Now, for confirmation, you can Google. Everybody can Google what I'm talking about now. This isn't, uh, I'm not going to be the one you're going to go to to get confidential information. I guess that's why y'all messing with these other dudes. But, it's facts. They got pictures of Suge Knight in prison meeting with Harry O. And David Kerner. For those who don't know who David Kerner is, that's the attorney who helped establish Death Row Records. And I haven't done the research yet, so this will be assumptively, uh, because I believe I would know he's probably the lawyer on retainer with Death Row right now. And what is happening here is a punch in Suge Knight's face as he sits in prison with 28 years to life as the only blood, as a blood talking, to make a billion dollars. Yeah, if he was to liquidate Death Row Records and or sell Death Row Records in 1997, he could have got two billion with the masters and all of that. So hear that. Suge Knight abused that money. He abused the responsibility of a homie as a blood to help all of us have a fucking platform, yo. He abused that. And dog Snoop Dogg out. He almost had the anorexic rapper want to kill himself. He done went to he went to a couple of different locations from there. He went mess with Master P and did a lot. But what he was doing was similar to what I was doing. Like y'all thought I was walking, didn't have no car. I didn't have a car because I was paying a car note. So I want to get on here and be yeah yeah yeah, then get repo and I look like a straight dumb dumb. So I did what I had to do, whether it was donate, sell books, struggle, grind, bust spreads. I did what I had to do to get what I had to get. 